Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to set up your Samsung Smart Things app so that you can control your stove. And of course, the Samsung stove that is uh, compatible with the Smart Things app. So let me show you how we set it up. So the first thing you're going to do in your smartphone is search for Smart Things. S M A R T T H I N G S. And here we have the Smart Things app. So we're going to press install. Okay, so once it's installed, we are going to now open the app. And here we have the first screen where you can control your devices, you can automate your devices, and you can make your life smarter. So with controlling your devices, you can monitor and control smart TVs, light bulbs, appliances, and other devices. Uh, you can automate your devices, so you can make devices respond to conditions like turning on the lights when a door opens, uh, and you can make your life smarter. You know, add services to do even more with your devices. So I'm going to now press continue, and I'm going to use, let's see, it's going to talk about it needs permissions to know your location, uh, scan for nearby devices that are using, you know, BLEs, that's Bluetooth Low Energy, low energy Technology. Uh, you want to access your camera because obviously you're going to have to scan the QR codes of the appliances to uh, complete the configurations. And you need access to the microphone as well. That way it's uh, used to add uh, certain devices to smart things that use high frequency sounds. So I'm going to click on more. And that's all the other things that we need to give the app uh, permission to access. So we're going to say continue. I'm going to just, these are some helpful tips. I can just press skip. And it's going to, now I'm going to, I'm going to say yes. Know where the location of this device is, right? Um, while using the app. And allow smart things to find, connect to, and determine the relative position of native my devices. I'm going to allow that. So what we do next, we're going to press the plus button up in the top right hand side of the screen. We're going to press plus and we're going to say add device. And then what we're going to do, we're going to say scan QR code. And then we're going to say while using the app. Now on the stove, there is a sticker here. Say smart things and it has a QR code, so we're going to scan that. So here is the QR code and the sticker that we're going to scan with our phone. So I'm going to go ahead, scan the QR code. It's verifying the code. Searching for the range. We just be patient. Give it a couple seconds. Now on the range, we're going to have to press and hold the smart control button for more than three seconds until the AP appears. So right there is the smart control button. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and press that until the AP appears. So that's the AP. Now we just wait on our app. It's connecting to the range. We click connect. Now we are connected. Now we're just going to say continue because I'm going to register the device again to show you how uh, you register it because I did register it before. So we're connected now. We're, now your device has to be connected to your local Wi Fi network. Now it's registering the device and the range is being added to smart things. So it just says we're almost there. And down below here, you can see uh, the access, the name of the access point of my Wi-Fi that I'm connected to. So it just confirms that, yeah, your Wi-Fi is set up and you're connected. And there we go, success. So here is where we can now put the name and uh, name our appliance. So I'm going to call out my home. I'm going to say kitchen, and I'm going to leave that as range. And I'm going to say done. Now it says press the smart control button and it opens the controller remotely. I'm going to say okay. So if I press the smart control button. We 
you have remotely can remotely control it now. So after pressing that um, button, as you can see on that icon right there, just came up. That means I can remotely control the oven now. On my phone, I can see start baking. So I'm going to press the start button. And you see, yeah, start cooking now. And as you can see, the oven is turned on. And I can now go ahead and I can see I have 30 minutes left. I can see when it ends. And then when I'm done, I can just click cancel on my smartphone. And say yes, cancel cooking. And now it's turned off. All right, isn't that a real cool feature? Now I can then go to cooktop and here I can um, try using the cooktop on alert. You will receive notifications from the smartphone app when any surface element of your cooktop is turned on, even when you're away from your range. So that's a really cool feature. Um, so I can actually have, and it's by default, it's on, it's cooktop on alert. So that's great as well. And then what other stuff is here? Um, well, there's a, uh, other services that you can have here as well um, on the app um, food home care control with Bixby um, but this is pretty cool so this is the the main page and as you can see I have my range here I have my uh, refrigerator here um, so if I click and right now it says the cooktop is ready the oven is ready and you know if I double if I click on that I can go in and I can as I you saw I turn on the you know the vacant the, the oven I can control the temperature I can even turn on and off the oven lights so if I press uh, oven light here so it's on my device I press I turn on the, the oven light you can see the light turns on if I turn it back off off again on off I can do this all day <laughs> and then you can turn it on and off the sound so yeah guys so I hope you enjoyed that video on how to set up your Samsung oven that is uh, smart things ready uh, to how to, to set up your smart things app so that guys i hope you enjoyed that video on how to set up your smart things app to work with your samsung smart things compatible oven now just one quick thing just in case you need if you're shopping for samsung devices and you see this smart things logo here you know it is compatible with the smart things app so i hope you enjoyed that last video now if you like this uh, video and you liked it i appreciate it thank you very much and if you subscribe to, to my channel I am appreciative of that as well, so thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.